Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a king size quilt um, and to quilt as you go if you don't have a quilting machine like I do not have. My neighbor gave me a bunch of uh, flannel material that I'm using. So what I did was I cut 10 and a half inches by 10 and a half inch squares and you're going to need a hundred of these for the top and a hundred of these for the bottom and I had so much material that I also cut an additional 100 for that I'm going to use for the batting. You can use batting if you have it but if you don't you can just use any kind of spare material that you have um, and you're also going to need to cut some strips like this that's three inches wide and ten and a half inches long. This is what the quilt's going to look like when it's done. So what you do is you take your material of the make sure that you have it facing out on both sides. So you have that piece, the top piece, and you have your center piece down in here. And you cut your you sew three zigzag lines like that. And it holds the three pieces together and it's pretty much um, quilted and ready to attach. You have your first piece here with the zigzag lines and I have my two pieces of um, material here that I'm going to fold down. That's going to go on the bottom side, line it up directly over top of that. And then I have the top piece folded down. Going to line that baby up right on top. And then I'm going to sew a line straight down about a fourth of an inch from this edge. So again, there's going to be a line straight down. These have been sewn on. I've got that one and that one. So the next thing that you do, fold the bottom part out, that bottom piece, fold it out, and I'm going to line it up with the edge of this next piece. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but let's turn it that way. So I'm going to line up this next piece and sew it right on the edge of this middle piece. I have sewed that on. I went down a fourth of an inch as well. Straighten it out. So you can see this back strip has been sewed onto the edge of this piece along with this top flat part too. And then I took it and sewed this onto the next piece. And you flip it over looks like this. So to fix the other side, you have this little flap left. You simply fold it down just like that and you sew a straight down. Straight down. <laughs> This is the finished piece. So you can see it's padded. It's got its batting in there. It's quilted. And you have your strip that pieced it together. You pretty much do this piece to piece to piece to piece. All the way across. And then when you get every row done, the 10, you do 10 across for a king size quilt you do the same thing between the two rows you have one sewed on the back side one sewed on the top side and all you do is take the one on the back side match it up right there 
along the edge of that, sew it straight down, and then when you're done, flip it over and sew straight across. And it will look like this. So the whole quilt takes 10 rows across, 10 rows straight up, 10 and a half inch squares, three inches by 10 and a half inch long strips in between. And then I just took a strip and measured it when I got done um, all the way to the end. Whenever you get all 100 squares, 10 across, 10 up, when you get them done and you're ready to edge it, just take a piece of material, like what I have here, fold up, place it right there underneath and then you fold down right here and fold it over again right on top and then you just sew a straight line down and it will be edged there and there and that will finish off the edge of your quilt